Art HK, you know, it's, it's definitely something that Hong Kong needs, um, um, both in terms, of, in terms of education, in terms of bringing the international community to Hong Kong, in terms of showing Hong Kong that we're, we're one of the most important art trading platforms. a piece of China. So Hong Kong is the place to be exhibiting it. Don't don't buy art as an investment. Buy art that you like and just hope for the best. Hope that you have good taste. Delighted with the way that things have gone this year. We've had a, a, a fantastic start to the fair. I think that the exhibitors seem to be happy so far. We've had a great attendance to the opening, uh, and there's been a lot of interest in the work. So we're, we're hoping that that might translate into some decent sales over the coming over the coming days. Uh, and we're here at the uh, Tabaga Goes In party, and uh, it's going in full swing. What I've seen at the fair today, the energy is much, much better than last year. And last year was a wonderful fair to begin with, don't get me wrong, but I think that now uh, all of the galleries that have come from across Asia have stepped up their game. And, uh, and I feel that the galleries that have come from the West, uh, such as Gagosian, have really wanted to uh, demonstrate the best of what they can do. quite different because uh, last year we saw a lot of work we were very familiar with. This year we see a lot of new faces and probably the mixture of different artists is much more inspiring because a lot of work we have never seen before. So, um, and uh, of, of course the size of the individual gallery is a little smaller but it's, it's more interesting. I think last year demonstrated how good Hong Kong could be. The focus center of contemporary art show. That's why all these big brothers coming in, which is good. Then they leave the whole atmosphere out.